got another video for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys the Mucar 892 Bluetooth. The video, um, the link will be down in the bottom of the video's description. Um, this is what it'll come with. It'll come with this packaging list showing you what it comes with. All right, as a network cable, C cable, F chassis, multiple cables here, and the packing list. These are the wires and cables and stuff right here. Then we also have the guide. Comes with it's really nice in color. We have all the wires here. Another one of the connectors, the USB. And we have the split connector also here. And we have the what is this? It's the European plug charges and everything is here. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys the device now. This is it right here. This is really nice. It has a USB-C, USB port. Um, let's see. This is the side. It says Muco on it. On both sides. This is really nice. This is the back. It does have a kickstand, which is really nice. It's OBD. It's Bluetooth. This is magnetic. So it magnetically connects to it. This goes into the OBD port. All right. So you just hold on this power button and it boots on. I already powered it on. This is what the device main screen looks like. All right. I'm going to have another video following this one. Well, I'm going to have another video connecting to this one that it's going to show uh, it connected to inside of a car and scanning it because a lot of options you don't get to go to unless it's plugged in these are one of the devices that it has to be plugged in so we have maintenance air fuel ratio abs add blue reset afs air suspension matching airbag reset immobilizer battery electronic parking brake clutch these are particular um filter regeneration electronic water pump then we have ECU reset, EGR, electronic throttle adaptation, FRM matching. We got gateway module calibration, gear learning, gearbox learning, injectors, language, NOx, sensor reset, odometer, meter reset, oil reset, rainfall light sensor, seat calibration, SAS, start stop settings, sunroof initialization, TPMS reset, transport mode, turbocharge matching, tire size adjustment, windows calibration. And if, you, like I said, I just clicked on that and this is showing me everything all out on one screen. Okay, so then we have upgrade. This is the diagnostic software. So then we have settings here, online services, user manual, OBD default, where you can look up your codes, coverage list to show you the cars that it covers, TPMS, gadget, Google Chrome, remote assistance where you can connect it from your phone. This is just everything out in the open. So we're going to click on settings. Okay. So this is the user. It's new. Haven't used it probably use it like two times uh, device info that's how much memory it has let me see if it has a system update all right let me connect this to the internet real quick and then I'll catch back the video for you guys all right I'm pretty sure this device has a couple updates so I just connected it to the internet so we're going to check the software to make sure it's updated. If not, I'm going to update it. Current version is the latest version. Okay. So this one's good to go. Um, like I said, that's just the settings. This is new settings that just popped up. Okay. It's downloading the APK right now. It's probably an update. So it's rebooting right now. And keep in mind, the updates are lifetime for this. So 
So we're checking for software updates. Okay, that was another update that just went through. Okay. So we got a vehicle diagnostic software. These are all the softwares it has that has updates. The ones with the blue are the ones that are updates that are needed. Then we have maintenance, which is another whole set of updates. Or oh, says latest version, so all this is good. But yeah, like I said, it's lifetime updates, can't beat that. It's a key programmer, programs keys, application software. I guess that's the actual software, software for the whole device. Not no update for any diagnostic stuff. Diagnose, OD, history, report. All right. This is the device. Like I said, I'll be adding on another part. There's another part after this one. So um, just keep watching the video and then and the part inside the car showing you the other features in the vehicle. All right. Peace out. All right. I got another video for you guys showing you guys the Mew Car 892 Bluetooth. This is uh, another scan device. This is also a key programmer also. And it's OBD. It's Bluetooth. So... It's magnetic, it connects to the back like so. All right. So I'm gonna power on the device with the power button on top here. And I'm gonna connect it to the vehicle. Plug into the OBD2. Okay, the device is plugged in, it beeped times. Okay. Then you just hit the start button in your vehicle, put it in accessory mode. Okay. So then we hit, we have all these different other options, okay? So we have, we have uh, maintenance, upgrade, okay? Then we have upgrade, then we have more, just settings, online services, manual, OBD fault, leverage, TPMS, gadget. This one is also a key programmer, so you can also program keys from using this device, and it's wireless also. Okay, so we do the VIN. It's gonna connect in, it's connecting to the Bluetooth. So that's what it's automatically doing. It's connecting to the Bluetooth adapter, so now it's pulling the VIN. Tells you don't forget to remove the module. Ignition is on. Make sure your vehicle's ignition is on when making, when scanning it for codes or anything like that. Okay, so it comes up as a Honda 2022. That's fine. So it's loading right now. Okay, so we're going to go to 16 pin USA because we're in the United States. So it's gonna retrieve the vehicle's information. Okay, so then they have health report, it's scanning. Then we have system scan, where you can scan all the systems. Basically what it's gonna do is a full system scan. Let me see if I can back out of this. Yes, we can. Okay. So then we have system selection to where you can go to different systems. Engine, engine control mount, transmission, uh, drive-by wire system, body control module, air conditioning, keyless access remote system. Okay. The remote starter. This is not what you guys think it is. In order to program in keys in case you guys... If you guys have an MDX, one of the new MDXs or TLXs, you go to one push start here and you can program in a remote start module. But I'm gonna exit right now. You can use that to program a remote start module. Just letting you guys know. You have to go to the one push start and put two way keyless access and then program in the remote and the remote start will work for whatever vehicle that you guys have. One of the new years though. 
DLX, MDX, RDX, whatever. As long as you install the module that needs to be installed, you can uh, program it with this tool. Okay, it backed me out because I used that. I'm going to do a quick system scan just to show you guys the quick system can't scan. And I'm going to show you guys the, um, the hot functions, like the special functions. So these are common functions. This is the thing. Oil service light, electronic um, throttle reset. This is what you do when you clean the throttle body. I'm going to be making a video and clean the throttle on the my vehicle and then uh, resetting it with this tool. The steering angle sensor. That's when you uh, replace the wheel speed sensors. This will um, code it back in. High voltage battery, battery match, immobilizer keys. That's for programming keys, injector. EGR valve, transport, tire reset, gear learning, remote control manual, put in maintenance mode. Put in maintenance mode, this is for the brakes. If you're doing brakes on these vehicles, especially a car with electronic parking brake, this one can disengage the rear parking brake in order for you to be able to do it. So then system selections, this shows you all the systems on the car that it has, and these you can go into each one of these systems. So I'm gonna go to health report, and what the health report will do is, it'll scan the whole vehicle. So that's right now what it's doing is scanning the whole vehicle for codes. If anything comes up, it'll be here. This will scan every single system, not just the regular engine. This will scan the transmission, anti-lock braking system, all the modules, all the sensors in the front of the vehicle. This will pull up all the codes for it, and it'll show it here. It tells you what systems are equipped on that vehicle, on the vehicle, and what systems aren't equipped on the vehicle. As you can see, it's 67%, 74% through the process. As it keeps going through all the systems, it'll keep updating. And this is the Mu Car 892BT. It'll be in the system. Okay, it says 17 systems found and zero codes. So there's no codes to this vehicle. This vehicle is good to go. It's normal. So if I go to engine system, in the system, just go to engine, click on it. It'll show me all the specific things. And I can also do actuation tests. It has special maintenance here. Look at this. I can write the VIN, replace ECPM, crank pattern, throttle learning, um, readiness, idle stop, start a counter force, right? Shift release mode, consumption, car, um, second battery cancellation reset. These are all options that it has. ECPM reset. It'll reset the computer on the car. Actuation test. So basically all the sensors that are on the vehicle, this can test it without you having to pull any device, I mean, modules off, this can test it and tell you if the device is working correctly or not. And that option that you have there works for almost every single option that there is here. The transmission, the engine, all of that has different stuff. See, it has a special function here for the transmission also. TCU, torque converter, correction value, learning. Then it has clear faults, read module, and then it tells you the module information. This is a great device. It works great. It's wireless. It's new 2025. The link will be down in the bottom of the video's description. You saw how fast it scanned the vehicle. Um, like I said, these are the special options that I showed you guys already, but this is just the pictures of it. Then it has upgrade and it also has lifetime updates. This is lifetime updates, y'all. Lifetime. Okay. I just wanted to show you guys the Mucar 89BT. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them to like, 